after she graduated from college in an effort to avoid returning to the internment camp where her parents were still being held. My grandmother went to teach on a Sioux reservation in South Dakota where she learned to drive a stick shift and kill and gut a deer. These are three things I do not know how to do, but I also do not know how to leave my parents imprisoned and travel alone by train across a country that has painted my face a red flag, so perhaps what we learn is a matter of necessity. In her East Coast school, where every class photo was an ocean of blue and green eyes, most people had never even heard of internment camps. Perhaps what we learn is a matter of convenience. She was extra ink on every page she landed. I never asked her what the Sioux children thought of her. Woman with familiar black hair and unfamiliar eyes. Woman alone, unmarried, young, quiet and stubborn and stern, teacher and stranger and alien and friend. I have already written the poem about how this country is an abusive husband and the poem where this country is a neglectful parent, a burden, a wound, a nightmare, a thief, but they all turn to ash in my mouth. And still, my grandmother stands at the front of a classroom in South Dakota. And still, her brother enlists in the US Army and walks out of the camp. And still, her mother hangs lace curtains and tries to make a horse's stall feel like a home, and still her father sits in a barrack where there is no wood to carve. So he whittles a peach pit into a tiny ring that will one day fit my smallest finger. What we learn is a matter of resourcefulness. After the war, when her parents were released, they wrote her to tell her it was time to come home and get married. What we learn is a matter of inheritance. The Sioux mothers gifted her a pair of moccasins and a pair for her firstborn child. Beaded and bright, the softest leather for the smallest feet, I am told they were sad to see her go. Later, when her own children go to school, bright black hair and eyes spilling across every class photo, they bring the moccasins for show and tell. They do not bring the hand-sewn curtains. They do not bring the peach pit ring, or their grandfather's knife, or a deer's heart, red and pumping for one brief moment, still alive in their mother's hands. <laughs>